Hi, welcome back to the Lake House. Okay, we're going to kick this thing off, the first video of 2015 for training. And we're going to go over something that is new to me and probably new to many of you. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're moving from the local SVN server to GitHub. And so what you need to do is go to GitHub, G-I-T-H-U-B dot com. I'm showing it here on the screen. And you need to get you a GitHub account. And then you need to follow me, Texas Lake House. You can see my tag there under my name. And become a follower. And we can share source code. You can download source code and all of that stuff off of my uh, profile. Now, I don't think you can check in changes. That's the intent. And that is so that the build builds for everyone. You can change it locally and uh, do stuff like that. Um, we'll do an example of getting a project in a different video. This project is going to cover, number one, how to create a brand new project, and number two, how to publish those changes, because it is a paradigm shift. Because GitHub is essentially this. You've got a local source management on your computer, and then you have to synchronize any changes, pushes or gets, to the remote server, which is the github.com uh, server. So it's, it's a bit of a pain, uh, at first, but once you get your, your head wrapped around it, or once I did, um, it was a lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and go through here and do it. So the first step is always create a project under your repositories in your GitHub account. So we're going to create our first one here. We've got one here where I was doing some testing, but we're going to add a repository since this is 2015 and it's a real video. We're going to call this GitHub, uh, GitHub add new project and I obviously can't type today so we're going to hit new there we go github add new project and this is just going to be used to demo adding a new and I can't type VS project. And it's public. Um, anyone can see this repository. You can choose who can commit. So if you're a follower and you want to be more than a follower, just send me a message. Um, initialize this with a readme, and we're going to create it. Now, what's really important here is see this string that it gives you beside it? We're going to copy that to the clipboard because we're going to need that in Visual Studio. It's going to need uh, all the information to uh, push for VS 2013. So we've got it in there. Now we're just going to make sure. So we'll click Texas Lake House, and there it is. There's our project. So if we go over here and we bring up Visual Studio, and we go over here and we bring up Visual Studio, we're going to create a new project, just a simple Windows Forms. Windows Forms app, GitHub, and we're going to call it GitHub Add New Project. And notice we've got a, a deal down here for create new Git repository. So that doesn't create it on the remote server being github.com. It creates it on your local machine. And I have, if you look, development, this is a RAID 0 array. I have my machine, YouTube, and GitHub. So it's going to create it in that folder locally and put it under source control, but not yet on the server. So I'm going to create it. And I'm just going to add a, uh, a label to it. Nothing else. Now... Notice we have pluses, meaning that all of this stuff is new additions. Now I can come over here and I can right click and I can go to uh, commit and commit these um, new project, initial add, and I can commit them. You're going to ask me to save my changes. I'm going to say yes. So now if I look over here at Solution Explorer, it looks like everything's checked in, right? But if I go back to GitHub and I look here, there are no commits. 
So that's not what we want. Whereas if I look at this project, we can see that there were some commits. So what we've done is we've committed it locally, but not remotely. So we need to get that squared away. We need to get that fixed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back here and we're going to go down and we have to basically tell it where, um, where is it? Where is this remote server? Uh, what do I need to do? And let's make sure that um, we've got it in here. Uh, we've got to have one bug, right, for 2015. So what we've got is we've got a deal over here. We'll go to Team Explorer. This URL, where is your GitHub server? That's that thing we copied to the uh, pasteboard. There we go. There it is. And we're going to hit Publish. And there we go. Now, your first time you ever do it is probably going to ask you for your username and password of your local GitHub account that you create, or your remote GitHub account. So you'll have to enter that. So what I can see is that there are commits. I can pull them or I can push them. Um, the origin remote has been added and the current branch has been published. So we'll go ahead and pull. It says there's some pulls. There's nothing here. It's already up to date. No changes to pull. So if I go over here to solution, we can see. Now if I bring up GitHub. And I go over here. There it is. There is my push. It shows up. So not that big of a deal. It's just an, a little different way to think about uh, source control. And if I change something, let's say I added a second label. It's going to show as a change. I can commit that change um, here. And I can just say I've added a new label. The typing woes continue. Add a new label. Commit it. Yes, I want to do it. And you can see that uh, it goes in and it commits it, but um, it says it was created locally, synced to share your changes with the server. So I'm going to synchronize with the server. And you'll see that there is one outgoing commit that needs to be pushed right here. See that? And it tells me what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and push that. And it pushes it. And if I go over here to my GitHub now, and if I come over and I refresh this page, You'll see 32 seconds ago, the new label was added. No big deal. So that covers it. That covers, and we're a little bit over our time limit here, but we had some technical difficulties I apologize for. Maybe I'll edit it out and post, but that would kind of ruin the channel, right? I don't really edit stuff. So we're going to publish this up, get it out there to you. GitHub is awesome. Like I said, please follow me on GitHub. I need some followers uh, so I can help me test. Uh, I know we're just getting started again, so I expect it to take a couple weeks to really take off. But uh, thanks for uh, stopping by. Thanks for your attention, and we'll see you next time.